Hey, what's going on YouTube? You guys, today I want to talk about mouse guns. This right here is the gun that started it all for me. This is the Beretta Model 950B 25 ACP Jetfire. And this particular gun is from 1966. Now I walked into a pawn shop probably when I was 27. I'm sometime around there. I'm 32 today. In a I'm looking under the glass, I don't really see anything, I'm about to walk out, and the guy comes out, hey, I got something in you might like, I, I knew the man, and he walks back out with this little case, and in the case was the jet fire, and it even came with this perfect red velvet case, and it came with this perfect little holster, beautiful little gun, I want to show you all just how small this is. Uh, I actually have a Zippo lighter here. I'm not, not a smoker, but I say that. I'll have the occasional cigar if I'm hunting or something, but really it's just a cool lighter. This thing is tiny, you guys. It's a Zippo. Actually, here's something better. Here's my wallet. This gun's tiny. Little bitty. Like, I don't even, I mean, I'm going to get into this in a minute, but here's my Walter TPH. This this video is about mouse guns. I have, I have five of them to show, but see the Walter is a little taller, about a three quarter inch taller. But when you look at the, the thickness of these guns, I don't know if that's clear. This is way thinner. These are little bitty guns, you guys. This gun is accurate. It's reliable. That's kind of the, let me show you the accuracy real quick. Uh, here it is. Model 950B, it's 10 yards. Accurate little gun. And uh, no safety. It actually, your safety, it has a little half cock, so that way you can keep a round flip up barrel. You can keep a round in the barrel, and if you see, if you had to fire, you cock the hammer. And it's a single action. The cocking of the hammer is your safety on this gun. Uh, Wonderful little gun. These are worth about 600 bucks today. The XXII dates this one to 1966, which is before the import ban, and that makes this one a little bit more valuable, actually. But uh, these are great, and they're tiny. This little gun could save your life on the on the day that you were, you know, two. And there's stories like that on the internet. I remember reading one about a. Oh, it was a guy that worked in a jewelry store, and a, a man came in there to rob the place, and he forgot that the gun was even on his person. And, I mean, they were in a rough fight, and then he remembered it, and he pulled it out, and, uh, well, it was graphic. But the, apparently the the intruder, the robber, his eyes just got this big, they were, and then that was it. So don't underestimate the 25 ACP. Let me show you what that round looks like. The, the downside, it's expensive. It's like $19 a box. 50 rounds and uh, the whole purpose they're center fire unlike a 22 long rifle which I have a box of CCI which is the best 22 around I wouldn't trust any other but you can see the 22 is is rim fire 22 being the smaller one there the 25 is a 50 50 uh, let me get a flat surface to put these on 25 is a 50 grain bullet and the 22 is a 36 grain bullet mini mag. You know, they get about the same penetration. I've tested these in two by fours and other other uh, barriers, little little you know fabric, denim, sandbag stuff like that. They get adequate penetration. They're gonna shoot into your body, that's for sure. Uh, they're gonna do damage. They're gonna bounce. They're gonna do all that. So definitely a viable self defense gun. But you may have to shoot somebody, you know, the little jet fire there, that little thing held, it holds eight plus one. You get nine rounds. And I was able to find an extra mag on, online for cheap, like 25 bucks, a little Italian one. So I have two magazines. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of firepower for a tiny gun like that. Jeez, that's, what is that, eight? Eight, 17 rounds, 17 rounds on your person. It's not bad. Now, that's what started it, you guys, that 25. And that was about, like I said, when I was 27, about five years ago for me. Then I bought this one, the Bobcat. 
and this shot 22 which as I mentioned much cheaper you know a box of mini mags for seven dollars hundred rounds and this one here <coughs> excuse me a uh, little push button release holds seven plus one and you get a double action trigger meaning when I pull the trigger it cocks and drops the hammer and it has a 1911 style safety this is accurate too here's the 21a Bobcats target from 10 yards okay so I like this one so much that I ended up buying a brand new brand new Beretta in the box and all I bought the stainless version same gun it's one of those guns that's so good you had to have more than one and the deal was like it was like two two fifty or something for that thing brand new at a pawn shop is ridiculously well priced they're normally like 360 or something and then over time you want the best right Walter TPH and I've done a review on this so y'all should go and check it out expensive gun you guys the magazines alone are like $180 on this one. It's tiny. It's much thinner, much thinner than the others. I can show you. Like here's the Breda Model 21A next to the, you see that? The Walter is so much thinner. I'll put them together. Yep. Much easier to, to carry. And on eBay, I found a custom holster with a little belt loop. Perfect retention good little carry gun it's like 42 bucks for that holster but the model 21a great gun and then not too long ago I was on guns.com looking around in the used section lo and behold a Mauser 1910 slash 14 I did research on the serial number this is post World War one probably between 1921 and 1928 based on this one uh, it starts with a 2-4 this gun here is probably around 1923. And this one here, interesting gun. It's like a Mauser HSC. When you cock it, if it's empty, it locks back. You can see it's empty. Then your mag comes out, original magazine. It holds nine plus one if you wanted to. So that's, that's good capacity. When you put, a, this mag's empty, but when you put a mag into it, it actually, right when I get to the last part of it, that little hill release, drops the slide like a Mauser HSC real interesting safety there let me go ahead and check that chamber one last time so I am gonna dry fire it here and it's clear notice now that it was cocked we have a loaded the striker is back a little bead right there it's kind of blurry strikers back real pretty wooden grips look at that funky safety if you push down on that it won't fire it's in the safe if you push what, as a Westerner, we would say was the magazine release, that's safety off because your mag release is down here. And then if you watch the striker right here, watch it, bang. Cool gun. Very well made. This launched the popularity of a mouse gun. You know, a little gun like this could easily be on the person, tucked away. And these were expensive back then. If you owned one of these, you were wealthy. So, uh... You guys, these guns are a lot of fun. Like, here's that Zippo lighter up next to the Mauser, or my wallet for scale. It, it's a little bigger, a little, little bit bigger, but, you know, nice gun nonetheless. I actually coated my hands with oil before this review just because I was going to be touching these. Really more of an investment, something like this. But uh, mouse guns, hey, these things are a lot of fun. They're cheap to shoot. The accuracy. I've shown you all this before, but that little Walter, yeah, it's 25 yards with that Walter TPH. That's extremely good. I mean, it's just, these guns will do it, you guys. They shoot through a 2x4, both 25 and 22 long rifle, consistently. They're going to go in you. They're going to do damage. And just think about it. Something like this up close, 10 shots, bang, 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 bang. You put 10 of these in somebody real quick, they're going to take 10 paces and fall over dead. Uh, definitely a viable self-defense weapon for a deep concealment situation. And I guarantee, you know, I normally carry a SIG. I have my CHL. But there comes a day where I don't want this bigger, heavier gun, small steel gun, 
and I'm going to reach for something like this. Or maybe, maybe the day comes that it's this. Who knows? This gun, this one right here, has never jammed on me in 150 rounds. I can't say that about these others. I can say this one's never jammed on me, but then again, I've only shot it maybe, maybe 50 rounds. So this is at least 150 rounds in with not a single jam. I really like the, the Beretta Bobcats, and they're cheap to shoot. They're fun. But, uh, yeah, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, you guys. I just haven't had time because, well, this gun was in my safe at my parents' home, so I didn't have it with me. But, yeah, I have five mouse guns. I, I might buy another. I probably won't. Who knows? But, uh. I do have an extra magazine for the 1910 that I found on eBay, like 50 bucks. That's so that's cool. And I do have an extra magazine for the uh, for the little Beretta that I put back in that original little leather little Beretta Jetfire. That thing is just tiny, you guys. It's probably my favorite if I was going to carry one of these for real. Although this is definitely the most accurate TPH for sure. Yeah, the Berettas they shoot and they're reliable. But you can shoot accurately at distance with the TPH. The sights on there, I don't know if you... They're like a Walter PPK or something. They're, they're really good. The whole gun looks like a miniature PPK. Even takes down the same. So, that's just my thoughts on these mouse guns. They are viable self-defense guns. Uh, they will get the job done. Maybe not in one shot, but I guarantee two or three shots or one shot in the right place. That's it. So check them out. If you ever see a Beretta Model 21A sitting in a pawn shop for 220 bucks or something, pick it up. These are nice, you guys. They're all metal. If you've noticed my channel, I have taste. Uh, I don't want a polymer gun. I'm not fascinated by that. I want metal i want high quality milling i'm attracted to high quality guns that's what i collect every one of these guns is stainless or or you know at least solid metal i mean these berettas they're they have an aluminum frame i think this one might be ah, some of these are actually still i think these are both aluminum though this one here might be still I think, I know this one's aluminum. You can see the contrast of the aluminum and the stainless. The lower frame is aluminum. You know, it, it, that's fine. It keeps it lighter. It's still metal. It's just a 22. But a 22 will kill you. Don't forget that. They shoot, they shoot, you know. The advertised velocity on these is 1,260 feet per second. Now, I don't think you're going to get 1,260 feet per second out of a Let's see. Out of a two and a half inch barrel, but hey, you you know, <laughs> you're gonna get more than a than a standard velocity. Let's just leave it at that. And if you put stingers in there, stingers, I actually have a stingers in my mag here. The these are advertised at like 1600 something, so you're, they're they're hot. Out of these little mouse guns, when you shoot stingers, you get little fireballs. It's pretty fun. So. You guys, this is just something to think about. They're a lot of fun. They're nice pistols. Uh, you probably will not, won't see. They made these in 32 ACP as well. And these were carried by Germans in World War II. Uh, I can't directly link this particular gun. This is a commercial export. It could have been commercially exported to, you know, German soldier that bought it. You know, it just, I can't say it was issued though, but which doesn't bother me one bit. I bought this gun for the quality. Nice pistol. <coughs> yeah, so if you guys, if you ever see a mouse gun, like a little 22 or a 25, don't be afraid to pick it up. They serve you well. And, you know, when your gun is as big as your wallet, <laughs> that really says something. And this is a single action. I mean, this little 950B, it's the Italian model 1966 based on the XXII before the import ban. These are nice, you guys. 
And I've seen these that are made in Brazil as well. Beretta, I actually owned one at one point. Beretta had a factory in Brazil where they made these as well. So this one's an Italian model. But that's really all I have to say about guns, you guys. This is a Christian channel. I'm going to share a passage before I end this video today. Uh, this is just a really good verse. New American Standard. I'm going to look here in the book of Corinthians. Uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 18. For the word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved it is the power of God. For it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, and the cleverness of the clever I will set aside. This is a good passage, you guys. It goes on. Where is the wise man? Where is the scribe? Where is the debater of this age? Hath not God made foolish the wisdom of the world? For since in the wisdom of God, through its wisdom, did not come... Let me read that again. For since in the wisdom of God, the world through its wisdom did not come to know God. This kind of goes back to uh, what Jesus says in the Beatitudes, Matthew chapter 5. When he says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. If you've ever been around somebody that's so spiritually rich in worldly philosophy and, you know, understanding by today's standards, that'd be, you know, evolution, Darwinian ideologies. They're so rich in the secular nonsense that they don't believe the truth. You know, there's many scientists that they see that the DNA structure is so intricate and then that they, they turn and they realize there's a creator. I mean, I, I'm not, look, evolution, I, I don't agree with it all. Adaptation, now that's a real thing. But uh, no, God created us. And it's in his wisdom of the preaching of the cross that Jesus died for our sins, that we are saved. So just remember that. The word of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But it's the power of God to those who are being saved, to us, to those that believe. So that's my word for the day, you guys. Y'all stay blessed. Like I said, pick up a mouse gun. If I could only own one of these, uh, it'd probably be the 950B in 25. But that would be more for self-defense. If I was actually going to shoot this, if I could only own, own one and say I lived on a ranch, get the Beretta 21A. This is just as good as gun as the 25. It's just cheaper to shoot. And they're they're fun. Get them, get a Bobcat, you guys. I have many friends, their girlfriend, they love this gun. This is their favorite carry gun. And I tell you what, I don't care who aimed this thing at me. I'd treat it with uttermost respect. This gun's going to, it's going to punch right into you. It's going to hit a rib. It's going to bounce. A lot of people die from 22. It is not a toy. So don't act like it is this gun here will easily kill a person so i would trust a 22 of my life and i do and i can prove that you guys <laughs> this whole time this one right here the stainless one yeah it's hot this is a daily carry gun for me whenever i go somewhere and i just i carry an extra mag but this one always stays hot and i keep safety off i keep it in this little holster because it it protects covers the trigger and that that that's a long trigger you guys that's like a probably a five or seven pound pull in the double action mode so you're not going to have an accidental discharge you know when it comes to gun safety you guys the main thing is you just you don't pull triggers and if you do pull triggers you check that chamber three or four times you make sure there's not a round in there just keep that in mind and and y'all have a great day and thanks for stopping by please like comment subscribe if you've owned one of these pistols, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer. I'm just, it's late. Felt like making a video and I actually had this gun with me. And it's, its like I said, it was put away for a long time and I couldn't make this video until I picked this up. Normally it just stays wrapped up in this gun sock all nice and safe. So, all right. Well, thank you guys for viewing and y'all have a blessed day.